Hey y'all, my name is Priscilla and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to do a book tag. This is the Shitholes Country Tag and this was created by Diana over at Diana and Color. I will make sure to link her creator video below. And this is a book tag that directly confronts our very ignorant and bigoted President Trump and his comments made regarding immigration. So President Trump has once again made headlines internationally for some very derogatory things that he has said about immigration. And in these closed door talks about immigration, Trump has been reportedly quoted as calling the countries El Salvador, Haiti, and other generalized African nations shithole countries. So, while I am not at all surprised, I am very exhausted. Um, this isn't the first time our lovely 45th president has uh, regarded other countries that are obviously non-white as shithole places and that we should keep these people in their places and why would we allow them in our borders? And we would like more people from Norway, <laughs> which is the whitest of white countries that he could possibly think of. And um, yeah, I'm not going to get into the politics, but I will link a article below if you'd like to read more about it. And I'd also recommend watching Diana's channel. She very thoughtfully discusses some of these um, topics that I don't feel like getting into. Um, this is all too familiar and very infuriating. So the purpose of this tag is to highlight about authors from these countries. And I think that this is a great tag because it really allows the narratives from peoples of these countries to be discussed and owned rather than tainted and um, defamed. So I'm going to be mentioning the four or five books today that I would like to read or have read by authors from these countries or have descended from these countries. And the first book I would like to mention is Ashes of Islaco by Claribel Alincrea. And this is a short novella from a very renowned poet from El Salvador that I would like to read. And this is a story that has been translated from Spanish to English and that is told from mainly two perspectives of a love story set in 1932 during a time of turmoil in El Salvador and this is a story that brings together a loving relationship between a Salvadorian woman and an American man and it pits two perspectives against each other relating the socio-political events that are taking place at the time and I believe this reads like a very traumatic and tragic poem that I'm really interested in reading. Next, I would like to read Who Fears Death by Nyindi Okorafor. So this takes place in a post-apocalyptic Africa. There's been some nuclear war and plague that has devastated the area. Nyindi Okorafor is a Nigerian author, by the way. I should mention that. And it pits two tribes against each other. In one of these smaller tribes, a survivor of the massacre of a fight has been brutally raped and is wandering the desert and trying to escape and she gives birth to a daughter who is obviously very different and who through the story we find is destined to end the plague and destruction of her people. Um, I have recently read Binti by the same author so I really love that novella and I'm excited to see what she can do in a full-length novel so I would like to read this as well. Next, I would like to read Tale from a Boone's Wife by Fortuma Coso. And this is a story that follows a young Somalian woman from a tribe that is really defying the conventions of her tribe and the tribal hierarchy because she wants to marry a man from the Boone tribe and marry a man that she loves and has chosen for herself. And in making this very life-changing decision, she ha has to face many of the consequences and hardships that and ridicule from people of her tribe and family. And this book is supposed to be a very tragic retelling of the events that follow. And this is also set against the backdrop of the Somalian Civil War in the early 1990s. So this is another book that I would love to read. Next, I want to read The Art of Death by Edwidge Danicott. And this is a story from a Haitian author. And this author recounts and reflects on death and this theme of death in other writers' stories 
and also her feelings of death after going through the passing of her mother passing from cancer. So this is a very short and quick read that I think has will have a very strong impact. And this story is really the literal literary criticism of how other people treat death and the manifestations that occur following and surrounding death. Um, the loneliness, the sadness, the depression. So this is another book that I'd like to read. Last but not least, I have read An Untamed State by Roxane Gay. And this is another story from a Haitian author. Uh, Roxane Gay's parents are Haitian immigrants. And in this story, uh, this was actually one of my favorite books of 2017. In this fiction story, our main character, Mariel, has gone back to Haiti to visit her parents and is actually kidnapped because her parents are very rich and is held for ransom. And she is uh, mentally, physically uh, brutalized and raped and degraded by the men that capture and hold her. And it's really, the, the story really focuses on the before and after and how she not heals, but how she handles this thing that has happened to her in the country that she is from and the country that she has loved and the reason why i recommend this book is because while it is very hard to read at times and very dark i think that what dark sand gay is able to do here is at times speak about the different sides of haiti that haiti is usually very portrayed as very dirty and grimy and full of crime but there's also another side to Haiti that she talks about, like her rich parents and the wealth and the beauty and the culture there that I think I've never read about Haiti before. So um, if you're able to read a book like this with such very dark themes, I would highly recommend this. So those are the five books that I would like to read or have read from peoples reigning from the great countries of El Salvador, Haiti, and African nations. I will be tagging people below. If you'd like to do this tag and you see this video, please contribute in, into this discussion of people that shouldn't be labeled <laughs> by our president and shouldn't be dismissed by our government. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you've read any of these books, I would like to hear from you in the comments below what you thought. Thank you so much for watching. I will check you in the next video. Bye!